Hello friends. Today we will be learning concept of system software. Before learning the concept of system software, we must know what is meant by the software. So, the software is nothing but it is a set of instruction or the collection of instruction that enable the user to interact with the computer its hardware or to perform the task so it is nothing but it is working for the single outcome so many program functioning whenever the many different types of that programs are functioning together to perform any task is called as a software for example word processing software which is enable the user to create the new different types of the document to edit that document and to save that document a web browser enables the user to view or to share the web pages and multimedia files. There are the following categories of the software, system software, application software and utility software. System softwares are useful for the system functions. Application software are useful for the particular application and utility software are useful for supporting or for providing security to that of the application or the system software. So the system software distribution or the categorization is shown in the figure. Software is divided into the three criteria. System software for example Windows, application software for example MS Word or the Photoshop, utility software for example antivirus. Under the system software there are the three criteria. First one is the operating system, second one is the language processor, third one is the device driver. System software. System softwares are required to run the hardware part of the computer and the other application software are called as a system software. Normally, the system software is nothing but the type of a computer program that is designed to run a computer hardware and the application. So that program or the system software is nothing but the interfacing between the hardware and the user application. Based on its function, the system software is again divided into the three types. Operating system, language processor and device driver. Operating, you know guys that the uh, operating system is nothing but the heart of any computer system. Without operating system, there, there is no use of that particular computer system. So, the operating system is nothing but the type of the system software that manages the computer hardware, computer resources and provides common services for the computer program. So, the system software that is responsible for functioning all different types of the hardware part, their interconnectivity to carry the multiple tasks successfully is called as the operating system. Operating system is nothing but the first software to be loaded into the computer memory when the computer is switched off and this process is called as a booting. Operating system manages the basic function like storing the data into the memory, retrieving the uh, files from the storage device, scheduling etc etc. Time sharing operating system schedule the task for the efficient use of the system and may also include accounting software for the cost allocation of the processor time, mass storage, printing and other resources. There are the multiple types of the operating system like the single tasking and multitasking where the single tasking operating system can only run for the one program at a time and multitasking operating system allows the more than one program to be running in a concurrent time. This achieve by using the time sharing property. Next one is a single tasking and multitasking operating system. Single or and the multi-user operating system. After that, distributed operating system. That is nothing but the which manages the group of distinct network computer and make them appear to be a single computer. After that, templated operating system for uh, like the cloud computing context of an operating system 
which is templating wrapper to create a single virtual machine image as a traced operating system. Next one is the embedded operating system, which is uh, designed to use with the embedded computer system. Real-time operating system is an operating system that guarantees to process the event and data by a specific moment in the time, etc. etc. These are nothing but the type of operating system. Next type of system software is nothing but the language processor. Language processor is a main part under the computer system which convert all user instruction into the machine understandable language. There are the basically three types of the languages, machine level language, assembly level language and high level language under the language processor. So what is the working of machine level language? Machine level language basically contains the string of zeros and ones which is completely machine dependent. Assembly language is a language which introduces a layer of abstraction by defining the memories. Assembly level language is a machine dependent. High level language is nothing but like our English language. English statements are consist under the high level language which is totally machine independent. So the program written into the high level language are easily to create and read and understand to the system is a function of the high level language. So this language processor or the, under this language processor the high level language is used to write the program and the program written under the high level language is called as a source code. So that set of instruction which is under the machine readable format is called as a object code or the machine code. So, first of all, we have to write the program into the source code. That is nothing but the in, high, in a high level language. Then, that code will be converted into the machine readable format. By, uh, then, it is called as the object code or the machine code. So, this is nothing but the working of the system software. System software that converts the source code to the object code is called as a function of or is called as a language process. So for that processing, there are the three language interpreters are used. Assembler, interpreter and compilers. Assembler, which is used to convert the assembly program into the machine level program. Interpreter, which is used to convert the high level language program into the machine level program line by line. And compiler, which is used to convert the high level program into the machine level program at once go rather than line by line and nothing a uh, third system software is nothing but the device drive so how that different type of the softwares are understand to the system or how that different type of the software or the hardware are compatible to the system to that compatibility we have to use the device driver so under the system software that controls and man monitors functioning of a specific device on a computer is called as a device driver. Like the printer, for the printer, scanner, microphone, speakers, etc. For all that hardware device or the external device, we need to install the device driver first. And then we have to use that particular device on that system. When you attach a new device, you need to install its driver so that the operating system knows how it needs to be managed. After that, initially we see the system software. It contains the three types, operating system, language processor and device driver. After that, the second type of a software is nothing but the application software. So what is the use of that application software? A software that performs a single task and nothing else is called as the application software. And that application software are very specific to their function or for solving the particular type of the program. For example, spreadsheet, word processing, presentation, so, the word processing is only useful for creating the document, processing the document. 
spreadsheet is only useful for creating the spreadsheet. Presentations are only useful for creating the presentation. So this is nothing but the, all that softwares are application specific. Only perform that particular application, hence it is called as the application software. Third one is nothing but the utility software. So the application software that exist system software in doing their work is called as a utility software. So that software is maybe a supporting software to the application software. Thus, the utility software is actually a cross between the system software and the application software. And the examples of a utility software is like the antivirus software, disk management tool, file management tool, completion tools, backup tools, etc. etc. So normally the system software concept is like this. Under this concept, the system software is work as an interface between the hardware and the application software. Hardware which contains the CPU, disk, mouse, printer, etc. System softwares are nothing but the operating systems or the utility and on an external layer, application softwares are work. That is nothing but the computer game, spreadsheets, word processor, database, internet browser, etc. etc. So please refer this diagram for the system software. So now the one question is arise during this is nothing but what is the role of system software? What is the use of system software or why this system software is important? Is nothing but it provides the interfacing between the hardware and the user. How the user can use that particular hardware? For that we require the system software. For example, let us see this diagram. Under this diagram, the interface A is nothing but the interface between the user and the system software. Interface B is nothing but the interface between the system software and the hardware. So the interface between the user and the system software is nothing but the virtual machine. So virtually we can connect to the system software. Then the system software is directly actual machine inter to the actual machine inter the interface. It can connect to the hardware. And all that is nothing but the virtual machine. So how the user will interact with the computer system? That user must be interact with the computer system by using the system software. System softwares are of the three types like system or uh, operating system, after that device drivers and another one. So in this way, the interfacing between the user and the system software is taking place. So type of the system software. Now, the different types of the system software is nothing but first system software is used to control the program. That is system control program. System. Second one is the system support program and third one is the system development program. System control program is used to control all processing under the system. Like it control the execution of program, it manage the storage and processing resources of the computer and perform the other management and monitoring function. And all these are performed by using the operating system. This is another but the example of the system control program. System support program is nothing but the part which is supporting that particular system to perform their program. So for that, it provides the routine service function to the other computer program and computer user. For example, the utility program and system development program in which we actually create particular things or particular tasks. They assist the creation of the publication program is called as a system development program. For example, language translator like the interpreter, compiler, assembler, etc. etc. So these are nothing but the main type of the system software. Now system control program is like this under which we have to use the operating system which is integrated set of the specialized program that are used to manage the overall resources and the application of the computer. There are the multiple type of the operating system, Microsoft, Windows, after that Linux, Unix, etc, etc. So operating system 
having the categories like the language services, memory managers, information managers, schedulers, utilities, languages services contain the interpreter, assembler and compilers. Memory managers contain the loader, garbage collection and linkers. Information manager contain the file system, database system. Scheduler is useful for scheduling that all processes. Utilities are useful for the text editors, graphic routines, etc. etc. This is nothing but the operating system, which is a, which is a, useful for the following functions like the memory management, processor management, device management, file management, security, control over system performance, job accounting. And these are nothing but the layers of the operating system. First, it is connected to the hardware. Then it is uh, the flow goes to the CPU management. Then that flow is handle the memory management. Device driver support all that for the input and, and output management. And then the actual application is running. System support programs that contain the utility program which help the system to perform their task. So all that processing are manufactured to perform the particular task and the task performed are sorting data, editing the output, dumping of the data to the disk or the tape, tracing the operation of the program, copying data from one recording medium to the another. These are nothing but the utility programs functions. And Third one is nothing but the system development program or it is also called as a language translator which can translate the language. We previously seen that topic that is what is the use of different type of the language processor. So language translator are also called as a language processor. Main function of that is nothing but translate the high level language to the low level or the machine level language. So check for uh, ident identify different type of the syntax error that may be present in the program being installed. And there are the three types of the translator, assembler, interpreter and compiler. So the assembler, interpreter and compiler, we can cover it into the next lecture. So now this lecture is over. Thank you.